hello one two three one two three hello i'm sorry i'm way later than i said i would be today um i ended up being kind of busy this morning so <laughs> anyways um hi um hmm. <laughs> hello i'm here just like i said i would be just you know not at exactly the correct time but that's okay. Um, I hope you guys had a good day. I'm kind of doing a little bit of a later stream than I anticipated. Um, Manny got his hair cut and then I ended up staying at my grandparents for a while. So I just kind of, you know, I lived some life today and um, didn't stream this morning, which is fine because I'm here now. Um, I'm going to play Dreamlight Valley today. We're going to open Mirabelle's door because we have the golden doorknob that we have to give to our good old wizard pal. Um... So I would assume we would get Mirabelle today. And then I also want to do Ursula's last task so then we can unlock Eric. So I thought that'd be a really good um, thing for us to do. We can get two new characters, hopefully. Um, yeah. And then we're just going to work and finish all the tasks. And hopefully then we can uh, get caught up on Dreamlight Valley soon. And then we won't have another update till April. So, um I was going to play Hogwarts Legacy today as well, but I thought maybe today we would just do Dreamlight Valley only, and then tomorrow we do Hogwarts Legacy only. Only. And then, yeah, and then the rest of the schedule will remain the same this week. Um, yeah, I thought that would be good. Um, I probably won't do a super long stream today, um, but we will see. We'll see how into it we get. Um, I... Uh, I'm not very comfortable. <laughs> okay, there we go. My dog looks super cute. Um, he's on the floor there. I'll show you him later when he's not sleeping. Maybe if he like gets up to readjust himself, I'll quickly grab him so I don't have to like bother him. Um, he looks adorable. He has like a little St. Patrick's Day bow from the groomer and all of that good old stuff that you know groomers do. Um, he looks really good, and I think he's feeling a lot better now that his hair is cut. Um, he was starting to feel a little bit depressed, I could tell, so I'm really, I'm really happy for him. Um, I'm gonna open Dreamlight Valley so we can get started right away. Ah, uh, yes. I'm also really sad, like, my spring break is already, like, halfway over, and for some reason it's just going so fast. I remember winter break just dragged on so slow. Like, I don't know if it was, like, the daylight savings pushing us ahead an hour and I'm suddenly like, whoa, this went fast. Um, I don't know, like, spring break is going really fast, and that makes me sad, because then I have to go back to work on Monday, um, yeah, unfortunately, but it kind of is what it is, right, so, unable to sync, um, play anyway, I don't know what that means, it said it was unable to sync with my, my cloud, whatever that means, I think we can still play the game, right, I don't think we saved the game in the cloud, we saved the game to our, our disc, right? Yeah. Okay. Whatever. All right. Game capture. Hold on. I'm going to wait for it to show up and then we'll switch to game capture. I'm excited to unlock these last two characters. Then we'll officially be caught up. Officially. So. There we go. Okay. All right, game capture. Hmm. Is that good? I think that's good. Perfect. Continue. You see that doorknob? We got that. And that's gonna unlock her, which is what we're working on today. We're gonna get Mirabelle today. It's been long awaited. And also Eric. We need to unlock Eric at this point. Like, what have we been doing? We can't even call us Dreamlight Valiers. We're just kind of been reckless. So we really need to get to it today. Is my microphone good? My microphone's acting a little weird. Okay. Perfect. I'm comfortable. This is gonna be a cozy stream. I don't have a lot of energy. I don't know why. Why don't I have energy? I've been home for five days sleeping in and I still have no energy. Like, I feel like I'm not going to have energy until the end of the school year. Okay. <gasps> what? What just happened? 
I didn't even mean to go into my house. That's a little rude. Rude of you to assume I wanted to go in there. Okay. Clear up some of this crap. We don't want it. We don't want it. Okay. All right. First things first. This inventory is an absolute mess. You know, I'm always positive, like, I clean up my inventory before I get on off every time, but then I, for some reason I log in and there's just still a lot of madness going on. Theatrical supplies. A crate containing everything you need to put on your very own stage show. Audrey presents. Why do I have theatrical supplies? I don't get it. Theatrical supplies. I mean, I just totally needed that for my daily necessities. Okay. Trying to get all this crap in here so we don't have such a full inventory. Like, who wants to carry all this crap around? Not me. Mm, okay. God, I have so much stuff. So much crap. I think I can just get rid of those flowers. I don't really think I need them for anything. Snowballs I can probably get rid of. Like, some of this stuff... We just got a ditch. Hi, Demigod. Oh my gosh. It's been so long, Demigod. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in ages. It's been years. Okay, it hasn't been years, but it's been a while. How are you? How art thou? Okay, let me see here. So much crap in this inventory. Okay, I, I think I can like kind of sell some of this. I don't know what theatrical supplies are. What, what's this theatrical supplies? What? Whoa! Oh my gosh, a stage! <gasps> That's what it meant by theatrical supplies. Oh my god. I actually got the whole setup. Okay, I see you, I see you. I'm doing good. I'm come out as trans and bi since we last talked. How have you been? Oh my gosh, that's big news. You came in so casually. You're like, hi. And then I asked you how you were. And oh my gosh, congratulations. I'm so happy to hear that. I hope that um, that all went well. That's so exciting. Oh my gosh. I love that for you. Congratulations. Wow. Well, I'm glad to hear that things are going well for you. Um, I've been doing good as well. Um, just vibing, you know. The same old every day. I feel like I'm, every day's the same. <laughs> but I'm, I'm really happy to hear that. Wow. Alrighty. I'm going to go see what's in the store today. That's so exciting. Hmm, there's definitely some new clothes. This is like a frozen sweatshirt. It's kind of interesting. This looks like Vanellope's backpack. Oh, I kind of like these rings. These rings are cute. I kind of like the rings. I like these rings. I'm gonna wear these rings. Coming out has gone pretty well, although don't tell my parents. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. Would you like to hear the new name effects? Yes, I want to hear your new name. I'm so excited. I'm honored that you told me. Well, I wish you the best with your parents. I know like for um, some of my family members, like my cousin came out as um, lesbian and my family didn't take it well, which 
It just always kind of sucks, you know, when you want, like, the people you're closest to to be, like, supportive of you, but I do hope that things go better with that. Um, you haven't told your parents at all? You have to give an honest opinion. It's Faye. Faye is cool. I like the spelling. I love that. I love the E at the end. I think that's really cool. The E at the end is a, a good choice, I would say. I really like that. I think it's good. Faye. I like that. I really like that. I despise rain. <gasps> Whoa! Flying money! Okay, we seriously have to stop getting distracted here. Like, I, I can't stop being distracted. Because I need to go open Mirabelle's door, but honestly, these weeds really aggravate me. The weeds aggravate me. I must get them all. I don't think my parents are going to be too against her, at least my mom. I think it's more nerves as I can't exactly avoid talking to them if it goes badly. Oh, that's true. That is true. So you, th you do think they won't be against it, though? Or at least my mom. Yeah, I feel like, like, even for me, um, I, I am not, obviously, I can't fully relate to coming out because I am, you know, I'm, I'm straight. But anyways, um, I feel like my mom, too, would be more supportive. I, I don't know what it is. I just feel like dads just are a little bit more... I don't know how to explain it. Dads are a little bit trickier, I feel like. But I hope that when um, um, you do come out to your parents, I hope it goes well. And I know, like, sometimes it might take them a while to get used to it, obviously. But I hope that it all works out for you. So... Yeah, and it's, you're just really nervous, yeah. Yeah. I definitely could see how that could be nerve-wracking. Like, I, I know, like, thinking of my parents, if I were to come out to them, you know, if I was, you know, trans or bisexual, um, or really anything, I know that I would be nervous as well. Definitely take, it takes a lot of courage to come out. So I'm really glad that you came out to, like, um, it sounds like I'm doing, I've come out as trans. So maybe, like, your friends, I'm assuming, you came out to? Bloop. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, these backpacks are cute. I want all of this. But I'm not buying all of it. Okay, the beach vibes. I'm not, like, the biggest fan. The space time, I'm okay. The posters are cute, but these backpacks, I gotta, I gotta just yoink those. Because that is freaking cute. Simba, Pumbaa, and Timon. That's pretty freaking cute. Like, you really can't pass that up. I'm sorry. You just can't. I didn't tell anyone at secondary school, but once I got to college, I tried to be really open ASAP. I feel like college is such a great time to just kind of not give a crap anymore, you know? I feel like in college, a lot more people are more open-minded. They're learning to accept other people. I don't know. Like, even for me, when I went into college, I came from a very, like, conservative family, so... Can only imagine how my parent not my mom necessarily but my dad like how he feels about people in the lgbt community and like honestly just anyone different from him so i kind of grew up with that constantly in my head because i you know had to see my dad on occasion so i feel like just going to college kind of liberated me a bit and it really made me understand other people even more than i already did so i feel like college is a really really good time to like understand yourself and for others to understand you 
So, a couple months into college, I realized I wasn't just bi, so I had to come out again. <laughs> oh, you came out twice. I see, I see. Well, that's awesome. I'm so glad to hear that. I, f I do feel like college, like, classmates are a lot more accepting of people than, like, you know, like, middle school days or, like, primary school days. I don't know. That's just the vibes I got, but... Are you okay? Oh. Okay. My dog it was digging a hole back there in the carpet. I don't know why, but he thinks he's getting somewhere. Um, okay. I think we should go give Merlin the golden doorknob so we can hopefully get um, Ms. Mirabelle. That is the goal of the day. And I'm sticking to it. Alright, where is he? Merlin, Merlin, Merlin. He's at home. Imagine that. He's at home. Okay. In his home. Well, it's kind of like his library, but same thing. Yo, I got a doorknob you might want to see, bro. There you go. Oh, I wonder whose doorknob that is. I have no clue. Oh. Hello. How marvelous a golden doorknob with an M engraved in it. Yeah, M. I wonder who it belongs to. Oh. Now this may not look like much, but it's proof your efforts against the forgetting are bearing fruit. I found this lying around the village. Someone must be locked inside their home. No. Who does it belong to? Why, this belongs to a charming young lass named Mirabel Madrigal. He knew right away. He, he knows her. He knows her. You wanted her to feel at home, so with my help, you enchanted her house to remind her of where she's from. The enchantment gave the building the power to reflect Mirabel's kindness and energy, but even so, we never expected Minnie Casita to become quite so magical and so protective of its inhabitant. What do you mean? When the forgetting struck, Mirabel, like many of us, started to lose her memories. Then one morning, her house wasn't there anymore. I quickly went to investigate, and what I discovered astonished me. To protect Mirabel, her home disappeared into a small universe of its own. Bro, I'm so confused. What is this, like the Matrix? Like, I'm confused. Finding this golden doorknob can only mean one thing. Mini Casita is considering coming back. But first, you'll need to prove to it that the valley is safe once again. Um, how do you prove that to a house? <laughs> not to worry, you'll find it's rather simple. Now, houses believe in deeds, not words, and houses often come to resemble their inhabitants. Mm -hmm. To prove the valley's safe for Mirabel, you'll have to embody the Madrigal's values. What are the Madrigal's values? Well, I'm told they always believe in bringing their village together to help the community. And I remember Mirabel checking in on everyone here to ensure their needs were fulfilled. Oh, and she also became quite fond of photographs, if that helps. Hmm, I could take some pictures of villagers. As for making sure everyone's needs are fulfilled, I could check what the villagers need and give them some gifts. Fine ideas, indeed, Audrey. Why, simply engaging some of the villagers in conversation might be enough. <laughs> After all, dangerous. everyone appreciates being thought of. Take this golden doorknob. It's infused with dream light. Mm -hmm. So the more acts of kindness you perform, the more magic it will gain. Once it has enough, mini casita will return. I'll give this a trial run. I'll talk to you once I'm done. Wow. I couldn't have done better myself. We need to get the casita back. Um, by the way, to make it clear, I use she, her, or they, them pronouns. Okay, thank you for letting me know. I definitely did not want to assume that. Um... Thank you for letting me know. She, her, they, them. Yeah, I love the name Faye. I like it. I really like the E at the end. So that was a great choice. The E at the end gives, you know, some edge to it. I like it. Okay. Um, what do I have to do? Um, take pictures with different villagers. Give different villagers their favorite gifts. Have daily discussions with different villagers. Well, that's pretty easy. All right, Mickey, let's take a picture. Say cheese. 
Say chase. Okay, I took a picture with different villagers. Give villagers their favorite gifts. Okay. Well, since we are next to Mr. Mickey, what does Mickey like? Tomato soup, dandelion, or rice? Dandelion. I, I, I don't have one. I thought I did. I was going to spell it Faye, but I ended up cutting out the Y. Now, I think that would have also been cool. Um, yeah, with the Y and the E. It would have been really cool. Um, I like that you picked... Both of those are probably the Hannah two more uncommon Faye. ways to spell Faye. F-A-Y is like the most common, so I'm glad you chose something different. So I really like that. But what do I know, you know? My name's Audrey. You know, I'm pretty basic. I love rainy days. We're gonna give him his favorite gift. Yay. Cool. Cool beans. And then why don't we just have a daily discussion with him? Hmm. While we're at it. On, well, would you look at that? Okay, who has the easiest gift? Wally. Stitch. I don't want to overthink it. I just want to pick someone that has something really easy that we can get to them in like a s s split second. He wants wood. <laughs> That's pretty easy. Margarita pizza, zucchini, a snowball. Kristoff likes snowball. I have a snowball. Where's Kristoff? We're gonna go give Kristoff a snowball. Kristoff, Kristoff, Kristoff. Excuse so me, ma'am. I'm gonna go steal your mans. Yo, Kristoff. Nice Yo, I'm gonna give you your favorite gift. And then I'm gonna have a daily discussion with you. All right. Hope you don't mind I'm using you uh, to get hmm? what I want. Mm. Cool. We need to return to Merlin. Great. Excellent. We Some people are worth melting for. Some people are worth melting for. That's so true. Um, okay. We're gonna get Mirabelle here pretty soon. I'm excited. I'm excited for this. We've been waiting forever to do this. I wonder if the mini casita is just going to be like a smaller version of the Mirabelle family home. The Madrigal. The Madrigal Over house. Here. We've got to talk. Let's see how the Golden Doorknob reacted to your acts of kindness. Aha! Excellent work. We're getting closer, but we still need more Dreamlight. Well, what the heck? What can I do? The best way to create more is simply to take care of the village. If you need a reminder of what you can do, don't forget to gaze in the waters of the plaza well. I'll go do that and check with you later. How much Dreamlight do I need? Bring the Dreamlight to Merlin? Do I already have enough Dreamlight? 500 Dreamlight. That's all you needed. Bro, I already had 28,000. I'm goaded. I'm goaded. Yo, here you go, bruh. Oh, hello. Brilliant. <laughs> Your hard work has paid off. Mini Casita is now ready to return to the valley. You simply must decide where you wish for Mirable to live and it will appear. This has well, been a cakewalk. She's been like one of the easiest characters to get. Just a tad above what you needed. <laughs> I know. What the heck? That was easy. I thought it would be much more challenging. <gasps> the mini casita. <gasps> mini casita? Mini casita. We're calling that mini? That thing freaking huge. That thing is a uh, huge. Yo, why that thing a mini? Where do we put this thing? I don't know where to put it. Honestly, in the movie, 
their house is kind of in a foresty area, but also kind of like a town area. So, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep them in town. I just kind of want it right in town, smack dab right here. I feel like it would be a nice touch. Oh, we can't. Oh, but it can go right there. Excuse me. Excuse me. We could put it here, I guess. How come it can go there but not here? That thing is so big. I, I have no room for this house. Okay, I'm going to put it down here, maybe. Mm -hmm. eh. I don't know where to put this freaking thing. This monstrosity. This thing is so big. Maybe up here? The Madrigal house can go up here for snaps? What if I took out a few trees? God, I have to like remove the landscape and the scenery just to get this thing on the ground. Guys, we have to. We have to decorate this place. This place is ugly. We gotta like make everything look a bit nicer. Where's the house? I lost the house. Where is it? Oh, it's still over here. Yo, this house is big. Bro, what? I have to go pick? I have to... Welcome, Mirabelle. Bro, I was not ready for you. Go back in the wishing well. Mirabelle, your house is not in the right spot. <gasps> She's here! Yeah! Yeah! <gasps> Smile! No, she blinked! She blinked! She blinked! Whatever. Wait, wait, wait. Shut up. I want your house in the correct spot. It's huh? awkward. Oh, Yo, that you. house is massive. Oh my god. Okay, I have to go pick some weeds over here, which is so annoying that I can't just do that from the build menu. But it is what it is. Okay. I think if I pick these, I can. Okay. House? God damn, they really went for it. They really brought us the whole house in this game. That house is huge. Truly. It's massive. It's a massive house. Yo ho. <gasps> the windows dance. The house dances. Yo, look at this house. I want to go inside it. I want to see the inside. The house is freaking massive from the outside. It takes up like half of the forest of valor. And you're meaning to tell me this is what the inside looks like? Yo, I'm a little concerned for the family madrigal. Their whole family fitting in this little jail cell. Oh my god. Um, ma'am, what's wrong with your house? It's dancing. Okay. Um, let's talk to her, I suppose. Hey! Where am I? How long have I been asleep? Mm. Wait. Am I back in the valley? It looks so much better. And someone made all that darkness go away. Whoa. You! You must yeah. be the one who did that. Feliciadades. I'm so glad to be back. Where are you? Wait. Where were you? Huh. I'm not yeah. sure. It was strange and everything looked frozen in time. I woke up once to drink a glass of water, but I was so tired I went straight back to bed. Hmm. 
I'm guessing you're the one I should thank for bringing me back. Um, you're welcome. Something tells me we're gonna be great neighbors. Woo! I'm so happy to see this valley! Before the forgetting, it was full of friends, happiness, and so much laughter. Everyone helped each other, just like they do in my Encanto. I really loved it here. That's why I was so sad to see people forget and leave. And when... And then, when that darkness fell over everything. But now the darkness yeah. is gone. There's dreamlight shining on everything again, and I'm back. I can already tell that you're doing amazing stuff here. I can't wait to see what happens next. Adios. Adios. Bro, she's always dancing. She don't stop dancing over there. She's got all the energy in the world. God damn. God damn. Okay, well, we have a new character to help out now, so that's fun. I'm quite concerned for this house. It's very beautiful, but the inside is bare. I don't understand, but it, it kind of is what it is. Okay. Um, I yeah. I can find some chocolate. Anyways... Anywho, oh, I just know we're going to be good friends. Oh, I'm tired. I keep yawning. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it makes you yawn. Okay. Um, so like, can I help her with the quest? I need to get to friendship level two to unlock her next quest. Okay. We can do that. We can do that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think. We need to give her gifts. Coconut ice cream, creamy garlic scallops, and pink prom bromelade. Duolingo is sending me time sensitive notifications to continue my streak before midnight. Gosh, Duolingo. Bro, I, I gave up on my Duolingo streak. And also, they placed me in too easy of a level. So it's just boring. Which I could just kind of skip ahead. But then I'm nervous I'm going to skip too far ahead. They placed me, so I took the placement test for Spanish, and they placed me in level 9. I already know everything in level 9. Why am I in level 9? I already know everything in level 10. I looked ahead. I think they placed me incorrectly. I'm more skilled than they thought. You know? And I just, I am kind of insulted, because I, I do speak decent Spanish. Kind of. At least I think I do. Maybe I don't. I don't know. Maybe I don't. We could do my Duolingo on stream. I'll show you guys how cracked I am. It honestly, Duolingo feels like a video game. I get very highly competitive and I get really upset when I get things wrong. Okay. Um. I kind of want to go do Ursula's last task so then we can unlock Eric. Crack Duolingo Gamer. Or maybe, maybe I'll... Mm, Maybe I'll work with Mirabelle for a little bit, since we're just unlocking her today. That seems kind of fun, kind of fresh. Yeah, Duolingo does feel like a video game to me. Maybe we'll do that at the end of my stream today. I'll do my Duolingo lessons, and I'll show you how good I am at Spanish. Is that purple or pink? That is definitely purple. Oh, I think I actually have to be down here. I need a pink flower down here. It's not this one. It's the other one. Oh, I see one. I see one, I see one right here. Cool. That's the flower she wants. That should get us to level two friendship with her. So then we can unlock her task. I think. I think, I think, I think. Yo, where's she at? Oh, yo, come back! I wonder what other Encanto, Encanto, um, characters are gonna be in this game eventually. So Maybe Bruno. Yo, I have a gift for you. Here's your pink flower that you want. You're welcome. Level two already. Let's go. 
Unlock some Mirabel glasses. I can be just like her. Um, I don't see her as digging. I don't see her as mining, fishing, gardening. She seems like a foraging type. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, I want to wear the same glasses as her. Glasses. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can wear the same Mirabel glasses. Cool. We're twins. Yo. Hey. Hey, do you have some time to help me with mini casita? Yeah. You do need help with that. Have you seen the inside of that thing? What's the issue? Nothing major, but there's some damage from the time we spent. Wherever it was, it took me to protect what... I can't read. I cannot read this. Nothing major, but there's some damage from the time we spent. Wherever it was, it took me to protect me. Um, of course, I'll help you. Great. Let's go to Mini Casita. It'll be easier to show you. Oh, little does she know. I already seen this. I already seen it. Go inside Mini Casita. I already seen the inside of this place. And it ain't looking very good, guys. It ain't looking good. But we'll humor her and we'll go look again. I I honestly I this this house might be unfixable. Yo, this place kind of kind of crusty. Hey, see the floor and the walls are pretty messed up. Um what did it look like before? The floor was painted and the walls were bright and colorful. Yeah. Now they're just kind of blah. I want to fix them, then repaint them in greens and yellows. Where do you think we should start? Let's start with the basics. We'll need some materials, such as soft wood and stone, to replace the damaged ones. As for the pigments, I'm thinking dandelions, yellow daisies, and green rising penstemons. I can get all of that for you. That'd be amazing, thank you. I'll start thinking about the new patterns I'm gonna paint and getting things ready in here. So I have to do all the hard work is what we're saying. Oh my god. Why do I need so much crap? Welcome to the family, Madrigal. Okay, we unfortunately need lots of materials, which I may have already at home so we should probably go check there first before we do any work and overextend ourselves although we do need a dandelion so i will grab that since it's just right in front of my face we need another yellow daisy which those are easy to find i actually see one another dandelion perfect perfect getting the flowers is always so annoying but this is going easy a daisy we needed that Okay, one more dandelion. One more. That's it. One more. Then we'll go get the green the green ones. Come on, there's no yellow dandelions left. You've got to be kidding me. And I gave one to Mickey for a gift. So that just is kind of a slap in the face. All right, softwood. I have to have more than six softwood. Like, come on. Stone? Yeah, we got enough. We got enough stone. We just need some soft wood. Soft wood. Perfect. Now we need one dandelion and three green rising petstamins. That's it. My Duolingo streak is now saved. Congratulations. <laughs> Can't let the streak go. That would be horrible. Uh... Alright, a green flower. That's what we need. We need two more. Oh, there's one. One more. One more. Oh, 
Come on, man. There's not another one? What kind of sick joke is this? This is a sick joke. Oh my god. We can't get these last two flowers. That is a bummer. Well, I guess we can get her her last two gifts. And hopefully while we're working on that, we'll have some flowers spawn that we need. Okay, what does she want as a gift? She would like coconut ice cream or creamy garlic scallops. I don't even know if I know how to make that. Creamy garlic. Creamy garlic scallops. I do know how to make creamy garlic scallops. So I should be able to do that at a cooking station. And then coconut ice cream. Coconut ice cream. I do need to find out how to make that. Which I'm assuming I might already have the stuff for it. A whole six days. You see, my highest Duolingo streak is like, hmm, one day. I'm really bad at remembering. But when I do remember, I play dual or I, I, I study for like an hour. Okay, um, what are we making? Creamy garlic scallops. Creamy garlic scallops. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, and then we need coconut ice cream. So I need to figure out how to make that. Coconut ice cream. Which, honestly, coconut ice cream that sounds kind of bomb. I'm not going to lie. One coconut, one sugar cane, one slush ice, one milk. Do I have any slush ice? I guess we'll find out. Do I have slush ice? Slush ice. I do. Slush ice. Sugar cane. Milk. And then I need a coconut. This should make coconut ice cream. It did. That looks so tasty. And it's served inside the coconut, which is really, really fancy. Like, have you ever had, like, like... A fruit bowl inside of a fruit or like ice cream or sorbet inside of a fruit that's kind of that's kind of fancy okay um Mirabelle we have her last two gifts of the day which is always good to give them all of the gifts that they need where is she where where what excuse me where is this girl? You know, I'm gonna assume she's either in the store or the restaurant. Do you guys see her? Where is she? She can't just disappear like that. I'm gonna go check over here. Because there's a pile up of people. These two are always on a date. It's so odd. Um. She's not in here. How come she's suddenly, like, off my map? So odd. What the heck? She's not on the map. Is that a glitch? I forgot. I bought some rings. How do you put on rings? I bought some rings. Uh, ah. Look at that. Assorted gold rings. I kind of like that. Okay. Yo, where is she? I can't even believe this. She's not on the map. 
She's gone. Like, I'm not exaggerating. Ms. Girl is gone. Ms. Ma'am said, See ya, Dreamlight Valley. This place kind of sucks. Why isn't she on the map? Is she in her house? I think she's in her house, but she should still show up on the map. Oh, okay. Well, she should be on so the map. I'm, glad you're here. I'm gonna give her her gifts, her coconut ice cream. Yay, that got to level three. Yay. Level three. Yay. Okay, I have another gift. Hola. Hola. Creamy garlic scallops. And we're already level four. We're cruising. <laughs> we're cruising, guys. Level four. We got some monies. Okay. Hey. We gotta have our daily discussion, of oh. course. Gotta have a daily discussion. <laughs> okay. Dandelion. Okay, I have to get these flowers. A dandelion and a green flower. Bloop. Um, come on, just one dandelion. Is it so much to ask for? Is it so much? To ask for. I really don't think it is. It's a freaking dandelion. <gasps> I found one! When you ask, you shall receive. Now we need a green flower down here. Which, I already walked the whole place, but... There's gotta maybe be one somewhere. You know, I gotta Gosh, say, Gosh, it's been raining nice. this whole time we've been playing, I swear. Does it ever stop for like a little break? I really need a green flower to finish this quest. Hmm. 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 Um. Yo, I don't. S I don't know, man. I don't see a yellow flower. This could be going downhill pretty soon here. I mean, we can give it some time, but it's still rather annoying. Hmm. Well. I see a green flower. It must have just appeared. Let's go. We can go give these to Mirabelle. Yay. We don't have to stall anymore. Okay. Mirabelle's over here. I do, like, part of me really wants to decorate this whole valley. But also part of me is like, that's just so much work. You know? I want an aesthetic valley, though, for sure. Here's all the stuff. Now, please fix this house. It's embarrassing. Hey! Audrey, you found everything. Thank uh -huh. you. And uh -huh. your timing's perfect. I know just how I want it all to look. Let me give you a hand. It'll go faster if we work together. You're the best. You know, this reminds me of when the people of our Encanto came together to help my family rebel Casita. It meant so much to all of us. And it really means a lot to me that you're offering to help. If you're ready, let's do this. Oh my god. This is so much better. So much better. Me Encanta, it's so much better. Muchas gracias. I couldn't have done it without you, which is why I want you to have this. Huh? What is it? Some floor? 
Oh, these tiles are just like the ones you use for your floor. Yep, you can use them in your house if you want to. Oh, I don't. Oh. I'm so glad we got to fix up Mini Casita. Caring for your house is an important part of turning it into a home, don't you think? Um, absolutely. I should put even more love into my house. I bet you'll be really happy if you do, and just so you know, I'd love to help. I could add a couple of things to my place. Scrooge McDuck might have what I need. Hmm. And if he doesn't, you can always place an order. I've heard it's pretty crazy. Or, <laughs> crazy. I've heard it's pretty easy. It's we pretty crazy. We have to talk again soon. What? Purchase, fur purchase furniture from Scrooge's store to decorate your house. So, to complete this quest, I have to spend money. This is absurd. This is just feeding into Scrooge's money obsession. And honestly, I don't need to decorate my house. My house is perfectly fine. It's perfectly beautiful the way it is. But no, we have to go purchase from Scrooge McDuck. I think I can buy anything, I'm assuming. I just, I kind of don't like the furniture he has today. That's the only thing. Hello. Well, hello. Um, what kind of furniture we got going? Hmm, a healing house. Do I have to buy all of this? I don't want all this. Maybe like a nice cozy love boy. Lazy boy. <laughs> love boy. Lazy boy. I bought a lazy boy. Decorate your own casita. Change the wallpaper. Change the floor. Add furniture items to your house. Bro, like, what's wrong with my house? It's not like you don't have the coins. I prefer to save them. I'm a saver, not a spender. Bro, I don't want to change my house. My house is fine. It's fine. Look at my house. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with it? I don't need no Disney magic. <sighs> she wants me to change my wallpaper. What, like a cow pattern? You think that looks nice? Huh? Okay, that actually kind of looks cool. Fine, lady. Um, She wants me to change the floor. Okay, the house is nice. I know, that's what I'm saying. The house is nice the way it is. This is her floor. Like, why would I want that floor? I kind of like my puzzle pieces. Or my, my Mickey floor. Yo, my house is fine. She's being a little, a little aggressive with her comments. Like, look at my room. You can't go wrong with a nice fireplace, a little celestial action. It's elegant. God, she's annoying. Okay. We could add the royal throne. I mean, that, that works in here. We could add the royal throne. The royal piano bench, like... We could do some of that. Um, I don't have a piano in here. Maybe we'll add that here. That looks like a desk. Um, we need to add more things? Like, how much do we need? A large vintage chest. What if we put that there? Nope, it can't be centered, so we can't do it. I don't know. This is stupid. I, I hate this. This is dumb. A celestial dresser. Well, you know, that does work. That that would look nice in here. I'm not going to lie. That that would look somewhat decent. Um, an open hood stove. I actually have a bunch of furniture that I didn't know about. I could like redo my house a little bit. I kind of am not The vibes are okay in here. It's just not exactly my cup of tea, that's for sure. Like, I would ha rather do, like, not that type of bed. I have, I have better themes, I think. Like, this is freaking cute. Look at this. This, and this matches my living room more. Don't you think? Don't you guys think? I'm giving my room a makeover. <laughs> I've been inspired. I didn't think I would be, but I've been inspired. I kind of I kind of am more of a cozy type of girl, not this like ornate. Not really into the ornate business. Okay, the chandelier's kind of cute. I like this ottoman. I would like to in integrate that. 
Why can't I put that there? Why can't the bed go against the wall? I don't under- I don't- I don't understand. Okay. This can't be centered? What kind of bogus is this? You can't center the chandelier. This is dumb. I'm pissed. Okay. Um. <laughs> All right. Wallpaper. What kind of wallpaper goes good in here? I don't. I don't have good. No. What about just you know white? There's nothing wrong with a simple wallpaper. You can't be stopped. I can't be stopped. I must decorate. She said my house was ugly, basically. Oh, outer space. That's kind of fun. Kind of thrilling. Hi, Adesic. Yo. It's, it's Adesic. Hi, Adesic. How are you? Okay, I'm um, flooring. You know, I like the Mickey wood. I do. Okay, what 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 do we got? What do we got that would look good in here? I, I just kind of like these vibes. This Mickey Mouse dresser, that's kind of a classic. You know, we might want to put that in here. I, I think I just need to buy more, like, aesthetic furniture that would look good with this bed. Because I do love this mini bed a lot. I think it's classy. Classic Disney. You know. You know, it, you know, the celestial stuff is very ornate, but it's just really not for me. This bed, kind of cute. Nah. Okay, the ice throne. Ice thrown, like, come on, like, put that by the fireplace. That would make sense. Okay, maybe not. Okay, are we done with her task now? Can we call it a day? I do have a Mickey bed, but the mini one's cuter. <gasps> this fireplace is kind of crazy. I'm groggy. I don't know what happened, but that leap forward got me all fucked up. I ended up sleeping all of today. I know! What's up with that? I felt so weird since that happened. Okay, this chair would look cute with this ottoman. So what about we put that by the fire, shall we? What about that? By the fireplace. Cozy. Cozy vibes. Okay, I think this is good. This lamp is cute, though. Look at this lamp. It's a little woody lamp. Oh, so cute. Okay. Are we done? Okay. Thank God we're done with this. I can't stand this. Okay. I do have a better stove. I've been inspired. I'm changing my ways. This stove is a lot more aesthetic, so I, I do feel the need. And then, you know, how about we, while we're at it, let's just, like, give us a fridge. That would be freaking great. An old fireplace. Is there a fireplace in here? No. Okay. Okay. There's no piano bench. What the heck? All hail the magic conch! That must be in our house. Tropical fruit bowl. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I swear there was a refrigerator in here somewhere. God, I didn't know I had all this junk. Apparently I have a lot of crap. A traditional desk. Mother Gothel standing mirror. Yeah, our house, our house could use some work. This couch is freaking cute. Um, I got a gamer chair and I didn't even know it. I gotta go put that in my bedroom. Yo, I'm discovering some things. 
Okay, this is cute. This has got to go in the kitchen, right? How about we put the... Uh, let's put the dining table in the kitchen area. For one. That makes so much more sense. Maybe like that. The, the PC needs to go to our bedroom. We can't be having our guests thinking we're nerds or something. Like, that's ridiculous. Gaming is for nerds. Okay. Um, what else could we put in here? You know, I really didn't want to, I, I really didn't want to <laughs> redecorate for too long here, but I, I'm kind of enjoying it. I got a little fruit bowl, like that's cool. An apple bowl, like I got some fruit, I'm, I'm healthy. A Pixar ball? Oh my god, that's so sick. That has to go in here. Lion wall sculpture. I mean, that's pretty sick too. A lagoon mirror? Oh, that's cool. Mickey already knows you're a nerd. He's always watching. Bro, why you gotta freak me out like that? Why you gotta freak me out like that? That's scary. Velvet carpet. I don't know. I don't know what to make this corner of the room. This could be the office area. Oh, that's pretty sick. To infinity and beyond, bitches. Okay, um, the cozy couch. I kind of like this couch. I know it's kind of odd, but this could be like the formal seating area. Okay, a, a fridge? We, we need that. That's... Nah... Okay, I'm just throwing things in the room at this point. We need to keep it classy and have it make sense. A snow globe. That's cute. That's freaking cute, man. All hail the magic conch. Okay, this looks pretty cute. Okay, let's go back into the room. I want to set up my PC and then we'll be good to go. I didn't realize I had all of this stuff. Honestly, I really didn't. I did not know I had all this. Um, where's my desk? I know I have a desk in here somewhere. Hmm. 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 Aha! My PC setup is gonna go right in the corner. Aww, that's cute. Okay. Where's my PC chair? Look at these blocks. God, this place is gonna be looking a little nutty. Um... Where's my PC stuff? Oh, there's my computer. <gasps> it can't go on the desk! It can't go on the desk! That's ridiculous. My dreams of being a streamer are not going to come true in this Dreamlight Valley house. That's for sure. Oh, here we go. Bro, where's the tables at? Tables. Can it fit on any of these? Can it? It's not going to fit on that. A regal desk. Regal my ass. Okay, um, it would fit on this one. Now, I just personally, I think this is going to look a little bit redonkulous, but... I guess we're going to have to use this for now. Yep, um, okay. What? It, ca it can't face that way? It has to go... Y'all, tell me what's wrong with that picture. T tell me what's wrong. What? What just happened? Oh, it's working now. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Okay. Um, okay. Everything is back in order. Maybe nearly a minute, but I need cereal. <laughs> Sometimes cereal hits different at midnight. Like, in the middle of the night, cereal just hits different. 
Mickey already knows you're an... Oh, I already read that. Bro, look at this Pixar ball. So cool. My house is so sick. Mirabelle has nothing to say about my house now, I bet. At least she better not. I will not stand for the slander. Okay. Mirabelle, we need to go return to her. All the way up here. Okay. Mirabelle. Over here. Her house freaking scares me every time it moves. Freaking scary. Yo, where is she? Yo, bro, where are you? What? Hello? She ain't in here. Where'd she sneak off to now? I mean, I could have actually looked at the map. She's not on my map. Is this some kind of sick joke? Oh, I see her. Never mind. I take it back. I take it back. I'm the stupid one. I do feel like her being on the map has been a little bit glitchy, though. Sometimes I don't see her. Okay, she's in the store. She's probably buying stuff for her house. Yo, Mirabelle, I don't- this is kind of an addiction. You don't need to buy more things for your hey, house. Hey, hold up! So glad you're here. Hola! Can I help with anything? Just inviting you to see what I've done with my place. Woo! Really? I can't yeah! wait to see it. Let's go! We no way. She actually is gonna come look at it. Oh my god. Remember, She's gonna judge it. She's gonna judge my house. Hi, Ian. How are you? Ugh, those night thorns are the worst, am I right? Go inside your casita with Mirabelle. I don't want to go inside my casita. Not with her. Oh my god. She's in the corner judging it. She's like your family member that comes over to your house and goes like this to see if your room's dusty. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, if I do that <laughs> to the top, honestly, anywhere on my setup, my finger is full of dust. You can't tell, but <sighs> it's kind of gross. Okay, anyways, <laughs> she's checking for dust back here. Oh my god, I can't talk to her. I can't talk to her. She's stuck. Bro, Mirabelle's stuck in my house. Bro, okay, here we go. So Amazing! This house shows that you don't always need actual magic to make magic happen. Both our houses are looking so much better. I'd say that's pretty impressive. Hmm. And now that mini casita is fixed, I really want to make myself useful by helping you help the other villagers. Because that's what La Familia Madrigal is all about, helping the community. I'll be your eyes and ears around here and let you know if anyone needs help. See you soon, and thanks again for your help with Mini Casita. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now get out. Get out of my house. Let's go. Out my house. <laughs> I don't need any more guests. Get out. I've been busy today. I just put up some new shelves in my office for some of my Lego Star Wars sets, and I, now I'm working on a project. Oh, wow. A project. Ooh. What kind of project? That wardrobe has the decapitated hands of Mickey and Co. I didn't even see. I didn't even notice. I already unlocked her next quest. I already unlocked it. I kind of want to low key. I want to make a outfit that fits around these new backpacks I just purchased from the shop. And I kind of want to use uh, Timon. Or do I want to use Simba? Okay, let's be real. Pumbaa, kind of the, the least best. Okay, Timon's freaking cute, though. I kind of want to make him an outfit with him. He's freaking cute. Oh, well, well I'm looking snazzy. This is kind of a cute little outfit. Flu jean overalls. Why don't we go with these overalls? Not the fishing gear. Or gray jeans? No, I like the blue. Or I have, you know, some dresses that don't match. So probably not. 
the tops. Eh, not really matching my style. I don't know. I'm not. I'm more of the outfit and dress kind of girl in this game. I don't know. I don't know if I just don't like the shirt options, but I don't know. Maybe I'll wear some, some boots. Some boots with the fur. Okay. Um. I kind of want a different hairstyle right now. I definitely, I kind of want to go back to my other glasses. And then my hair, and then a different hat. How do I change my hair, hairstyle? I really like, um, there's one hairstyle I quite literally like. I think it's this one. kind of like this one, or let's go with this one. Back with cornflakes. Ooh, cornflakes. Okay, hats. Are we feeling like Mickey ears with this outfit? Are we feeling... Ooh. Ooh. Holy... Oh, bro, the hair covers Timon. We can't be having none of the Timon slander. We need to change the hair. We could go with the bun. The bun's fine. Okay, hats. That's, those ears, pretty sick. Pretty sick. Adventure is out there type of get up. Some Mickey ears. I don't know. I'm feeling the dazzled ones. The dazzled ones are really nice. Should we do the dazzled ones? I don't know. That's the look I think. <laughs> Howdy, y'all. <laughs> That hat is so messed up. I don't like how it sits on the head. I don't know. I'm going to go with bedazzled. That looks really cool. I'll keep my earrings. Um, I already got a bracelet on. Do I have a necklace on? I'm looking pretty sick. I just don't really like the shoes, but like... What other shoe options do I really have? I have some moccasins. <laughs> I have some tennies. I don't know. I think this looks good. I like this fit. We got the fit. Oh, the Timon backpack is so cute. I love that. I'm currently working on developing a game. What? Ian, once you develop it, I'm going to play it. I plan to study game design in college, so I'm finishing everything up before my portfolio presentation. <gasps> what kind of game? If it's a farming simulator, I'm in. You know how I feel about farming simulators. Or an FPS game. I, I really I really play a variety over here. Sully slippers. No, we're not putting on the Sully slippers. <laughs> not the Sully slippers. We're not wearing those. It's pretty great how nice you are to everyone. It's an FPS game? Oh my god, we're so playing it. I'll be the first person to review it. I'm studying game development at college. Oh my gosh, you, you both can develop games and I can I can I can strictly judge them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Um I really, really, really want these Mickey ears. And I feel like 14 days away, we're cutting it kind of close. I kind of want to work on this a little bit. I do want this mini. Um, I almost have most things that I want. Oh, start a daily discussion with Mickey. Pick more yellow flowers. Hang out with Donald for an hour. That would be painful. Give Mickey, oh God. Okay, Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Everything's about Mickey. Okay, pick yellow flowers. I can do that. And then I need to give Mickey gifts and I need to talk to him. You can judge who makes the better game. Hmm. I wonder what Goofy's up to. Dude. I mean, sorry, ma'am. Um. That would be so intense and I would feel so bad picking. Oh my god. I would feel so bad. Okay. Um, can I not, <laughs> can I not have a daily discussion with Mickey? Hmm. 
Bro, he's broken. Homie's broken. I can judge who makes the better game. That's kind of a feels bad. I don't know if I could pick. That's like picking between my two children. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I mean, yeah, you're all kind of my children at this point. I feel like I'm your mother. <laughs> Except for the fact that I'm probably the least immature one here. Okay. Mickey looks high as fuck. <laughs> He does. He was like frozen too while he was. Oh god. Now I'm getting delusional. It wouldn't be a good judgment if no one came out of it without new trauma. <laughs> no. No, I don't want to cause trauma on anybody. Okay, fine, I'll do it. Uh, I guess if I have to do it. Okay, mine in the Forest of Valor. That's stupid. I don't want to. I want to unlock those Mickey ears before I forget and before the star path is over. Because I know I'm going to forget. Okay, honestly, this might possibly be one of my favorite outfits I've made in this game. I love the fit. It's cute. You underestimate how immature I can be. Okay, then maybe that makes two of us. Maybe, okay. Maybe we're just all very immature in here. I like that theory. I think we're just all, you know, a little bit, um... We're all probably a little bit developmentally delayed. <laughs> I I know I'm developmentally delayed. I don't know about y'all, but... I still feel like I'm a kid. I, I feel like there's definitely more things I should be able to do at my age than I know how to do. And I still ask my mom for help when I need something. I don't know how to function on my own. My mom still helps me with everything. Even though I live alone and I have a big girl job and I graduated college. And somehow I'm almost halfway through my 20s. Which to me I look like a 13 year old still but I'm almost 25. I know crazy right? I don't know. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how I'm still aging up. I, I, I'm, I, every day I get older and I don't know why. Okay, <laughs> anyways. If you're comfortable sending me any of your portfolio, I'd love to see it. Oh my gosh, you guys are exchanging, exchanging wedding vows. No, I'm kidding. Um, give Mickey his favorite gifts. He wants rice. I don't have rice. I don't know how to get rice. I'm sorry. I'm a, Now I'm at the delusional stage of my night, which, you know, sometimes I try not to stream at this time because this is when I start to go a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Okay, Glade of Trust. Mickey wants rice. He shall get rice. Mickey is my king. King Mickey, all hail King Mickey. He wants rice, he's gonna get rice. Okay. Thank rice. You. Wedding vows, I didn't realize that. <laughs> that's what I proposed. I know, that's the first thing that came to my mind. Like I said, I'm immature, but that's okay. I feel like immature people are the most fun to hang around. You don't want to be like, Okay, but people that are old souls are also fun to hang around. So you just don't want to be friends with someone that's, like, at age level, you know? I feel like immature people or, like, people that are old souls are the best people. People that don't act their age. The people that act their age are kind of weird. Or maybe they're, they're not weird. Maybe I'm weird. I don't know. I don't know. I have a couple friends that are I would consider more of old souls. And I feel like they really ground me. They're kind of like my mom and dad. You know, my friends that are old souls. They kind of keep me in check. Yeah, they definitely do. I love these Mickey ears. They dazzle and razzle. I love them. It's not good for my ADHD though, because I constantly want to look at it. They're so pretty. Okay, what were we doing? 
What are we working on? Oh, we have rice. Rice, 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 oh, rice, really rice, rice, My rice, rice. I just don't know why I can't have a daily discussion with Mickey. Or I actually... It's because I already had one. I already oh, had my daily discussion. You were burning Minnie's house down. Oh, ah, yes. I was committing arson. My favorite pastime hobby in Dreamlight Valley. <laughs> um, I need to make tomato soup. Tomato soup. I am making Eggs Benedict for dinner tonight, so I am gonna, like I said, today's probably gonna be a shorter day on the good old Twitch, but that's okay. Tomorrow's gonna be a Hogwarts Legacy Day, so I'm gonna bring out all of the wizard antics. Um. Ahem. <clears throat> How do I make tomato soup? Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb, okay? I don't know the recipe for this shit. I'm gonna go out on a limb. Watch. Watch. Yes! Yes! I guessed it, and I got it right. <laughs> I did it! Without even cheating. Okay. I did it. I did it. I did it. I did it. Okay. I did it. I did it. I did it. Alright, Mickey wants tomato soup. So my king will get tomato soup. If that's what my king what? wants, that's what my king I gets. All my friends could see this place. Here you go. Uh -huh. Cool. Okay, I really, I really want to unlock freaking. I want these Mickey ears. I want them so bad. I want them. I might not get them today. Because I have to go make Eggs Benedict. I'm a single mother cooking for me and my sister. If I don't cook, my sister won't eat. And neither will I. And I'm trying to mature. I need to provide for my my household. What a creep! Why is he by my house? Doesn't he have like a wife or something? Yo, uh, Kristoff. What do you want? Mine in the forest of valor. Blah, 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 blah. Now I'm just like, what do I do now? <clears throat> we save for the day. We continue Mirabelle's story later. And we go do our daily Duolingo on stream. So you guys can see how cracked I am. In the world of Espanol. Now, I feel that Duolingo, I f truly feel that they placed me low. They placed me in level freaking nine. Like, that's a slap in the face. Okay, here we go. We're going in to my Duolingo. I feel like it's a slap in the face to my skill level. See, okay, I'm on unit 10 now. I'm talking about schedules, okay? I'm talking about schedules, okay? And I feel like I already know all this, too. I, I remember, like, it's all coming back to me. Um, I took eight years of Spanish. Is there a category for Duolingo? There is. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, I took eight years of Spanish... As a youth. <laughs> no way. What? What do you mean, no way? Okay, can you guys hear? Mi nombre es John. Mi nombre es John. John. Isn't Juan? Mi nombre es Juan. Um, yo soy Marco. ¿De dónde eres, Juan? <laughs> yeah, look at that. I never get these wrong. So, like, part of me feels like... Part of me is feeling rather um, advanced compared to... It. I took... So, I took the placement test, and it placed me at level 9. So, I did all of level 9, and I, like, only got, like, one thing wrong in the whole of level 9. Here in Canada, we did French. Oh, that, make, that does... 
That does make sense. Okay. Daniel es de Estados Unidos y él es... So Daniel is from the United States and is estudiante in, estudiante. in China. Yeah. Sara, de donde eres? Sara, de donde eres? So Sarah, where are you from? Is what it says. Um, de Boston. But how would you say Boston in the Spanish accent? Boston. ¿Y tú? See, I, vivo en California. I feel like I'm advanced for this. I feel like I could skip some levels, but I'm kind of scared to skip some levels. Also, this is bright. Can I like... This is bright in my face. Hold on. I need to turn down my brightness. Bro. Um, how do you, how do you turn down the brightness on your computer? I know it's something to do with my monitor settings, but I'm stupid and I don't want to ruin it necessarily. My monitor has 20 buttons on it. Ugh, I'm just washed out and pale. I wish they made language learning a lot, a little more mandatory in England because we did it like two hours a week for the start of secondary school and that was it. Yeah, that's, that's not a lot. I took eight years of Spanish, but it wasn't mandatory. We only had like two years of mandatory Spanish. Okay, yo vivo in California. I live in, I live in California. De donde eres, Juan? De donde eres, Juan? High five for, yeah, I'm crushing it. Mi nombre es Felipe. Felipe. My name is Felipe y blank de España. Y soy, soy de España. I'm from Spain. I live in Mexico. Yo, Yo vivo, vivo en, en Mexico. Mexico. God, I'm so good. See, like, I feel like we don't talk about Bruno. Bruno S. Un estudiante. Because A is un. Yeah. El es un estudiante. Es. Es un estudiante de España. De. Tú eres un estudiante. So this says he is a student in Spain. And then this is asking, are you a student? It is my name. Es... Mi nombre? Es mi nombre? We're so proud of you. Oh my god, they're proud of me. That's something my mother never said. I'm just kidding. Um, write the student in Spanish. El estudiante? Is that what it wants me to do? Yeah, yeah. Yo vivo en Estados Unidos. Yo vivo en Estados Unidos. Yeah. <laughs> I added the yeah. Yo vivo en Estados Unidos. Look at that. Sick. Tu y él? Tu y él? Great work. Let's make this a bit harder. No, the challenge zone. My name is Marco. Mi nombre es Marco. Where is Pedro from? De donde? To where? Donde es not? That says where is Pedro? How do you say from again? How do you say from? Donde es de donde? De donde es Pedro? Yeah. Yeah. I know what I'm talking about. A perfect lesson. Like, I, I really am so good. 
I could be dropped in Mexico and I could survive. Time for a quick refresh. Review some exercises you haven't seen in a while from Unit 8. I suppose. Oh, but then you have to upgrade. And I'm not spending the money. Okay, here we go. Next. Ella es de Cuba. Ella es de Cuba. So this says she is from... Cuba. Cuba. Queen of Spain? <laughs> Hello, everybody. I am the Queen of Spain. <laughs> No, el sandwich. <laughs> I kind of want to say that, but it's not right. No, es mexicana. No, she is Mexican is what that said. Ella es cubana y él es cubano. Masculine, feminine. Cuba is interesting. Cuba es interesante. Yo vivo en Mexico y soy mexicano. Mexicana. Ella es mexicana. mexicana. Me Mexico es interesante. Yeah. Fill in the blanks. Alberto es de mexicano y Camilla es de Cuba. Ella, no. Él es mexicano y ella, ella. es cubana. Mexico is interesante. Bros cracked a Duolingo. It's because I truly feel like I'm way higher level than this. Like, my Spanish classes, I did go through all of these lessons. So I feel like Duolingo actually placed me quite low. I feel like I should be higher, which I can skip levels, but I'm scared to because I don't want it to be too hard and I don't want to miss information that I don't know. So I'm trusting that Duolingo knew where to place me, you know? Mexico es interesante. Mexico is interesting. I think we get the point. Me llamo Marcelo. Marcelo. Y soy, soy cubano. Now, this says my name is Marcelo. Marcelo. Me llamo. La niña es mexicana. Mexicana. She is Cuban. Ella es cubana. Wow, I'm doing so good. Got, like this is Cuba. this is my calling to speak Spanish. Vivo in Cuba. I live in Cuba. Él es cubano. I understand what you mean about not skipping. I have some decent beginner knowledge of German from classes, but I'm worried I'd skip something I didn't learn. Yeah, same. But I do feel like these are very easy. Like I know all of this already. Él es cubano. Julia es cubana. Julia es cubana. Yeah. I wonder how the microphone ones work. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Is he Mexican? El es mexicano. Pedro is Mexican. Pedro es mexicano. God. God, I'm I'm good. Okay, we have one more lesson up here, and then we'll probably call it quits for the day. Okay. De donde es Pedro? De donde es Pedro? Where is... De don... From. Because de is de. from. Donde, donde is where. Es. Yeah, so where is Pedro from? Juan es de España. Juan es de España. Yo vivo en Estados Unidos. I live in the United States. Yo vivo en Virginia. Yo vivo en Virginia. <laughs> Virginia. En Estados Unidos. In the United States. Next. Easy. GG. 2-E-L. L. Bitch, please. I said that. 2-E-L. God, what did it want me to say? Where's the man from? De donde es hombre. What? Oh, I forgot the. Yo vivo in Australia. Fuck you. Yo vivo in Australia. 
bitch please i forgot the little article i do that in english sometimes i forget the word freaking the god damn it god god damn it are you from the united states <laughs> to oh, Ares de no. los estados unidos n is the boy cuban is the boy Kian? The Q, Q Kian. Is he Kian? <laughs> Cuban. <laughs> Two. No. Is S L Nino Cubano. Where is Pedro from? De donde es Pedro? Didn't know you could rage at Duolingo. <laughs> I know, and I only got one wrong. Where's the man from? D. Donde es el hombre. Bro, like, I forgot the article. It can just give it to me, like, out of pity. God damn it. God damn it, Dylan. Then go. Do we do more? Do we? Do we keep going? Yes. <laughs> Where is your girlfriend? We're learning about girlfriends. <laughs> My novia? Ooh, things are getting spicy in Duolingo. De donde es tu novia? Bea está en el aeropuerto. Bea está en el aeropuerto. Ella habla con el hombre del mostrador. So, Bea is in the airport. She says... Abla talks to. She talks to a man. I don't at the at the counter. Mostrador. Okay, we're getting into some new territory. I didn't know how, what counter was. This is airport. Is this going to be a ransom note? Hola. Necesitas ayuda? Necesitas ayuda? Sí. Voy para Barcelona. Ayuda's ticket. Oh, help. How did we say ticket again? Si sí, voy para Barcelona. Y quisiera estar al lado de mi novia en el avión. Si, sí, I'm going to Barcelona y... Oh my god, we're getting into new territory. <laughs> y quisiera estar al lado de mi novia en el avión. Okay, I knew plane to be next to... I would like to be next to my bo girlfriend on the plane, okay? Choose the option that means plane, avion. Está Duh. bien. Tenemos dos asientos juntos. The stories have words they haven't taught yet. Yeah, that's bullshit. Está bien. I am good. Tenemos, um, I have dos asientos juntos. I have two seats together, Perfecto. okay? Perfecto. Perfecto. Why is Bea happy? There are two available seats together. Mm, Duh. ¿Dónde está tu novia? ¿Dónde está tu novia? No sé. ¿Puede ayudarme a Where buscarla? Where is your girlfriend? Can you help me look for a busca la... I do not know that verb. That's a new verb. This one's new. Okay. ¿Cómo es? ¿Cómo es? Mm, ella es alta. Tiene el pelo negro. El pelo. Mm, ella es alta. Tiene el pelo negro. Yeah, okay. Está bien. Now what? Black hair. I knew Alta was tall. Le Está gusta bien. hacer deportes y bailar. Dance. She wants to dance. She likes to play uh, sports and dance. A ella le encantan los animales. Bro, we don't care. She keeps going on. She keeps going on. Like, we get it. She she loves Pero animals. Come demasiado chocolate. And she eats too much chocolate. Está bien. ¿Cómo se llama tu novia? Ah, yo no sé. She's not telling us her name. She doesn't know her name. No sabes cómo se llama tu novia? You don't know your girlfriend's name? 
Bea doesn't know her girlfriend's name. No tengo novia todavía. Bea, what the frick is wrong with you? I don't have a girlfriend yet. Then why do you need a seat for her? ¿Puede ayudarme a buscar una? Can you help me look for one? Excuse me? Did you get that? Bea doesn't have a girlfriend yet. But she wants one. She asked the airport worker to find her one. Good God. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, Novia is girlfriend. Dances by Lar. Um. Now we got. Um. Um. I think sports is asiento. No. Deportes. Uh. Seats are asientos. Together is juntos. Good God. Wow. Um. You know, that was, um, bro, like, she was going on and on, her girlfriend, like, sports and animals and dancing, and then all of a sudden, oh, I don't have one. I, I, can you help me look for a girlfriend? Like, weren't you just telling us about her? I think she's confused. Anyways. <laughs> That was fun while it lasted. Um, maybe we'll do a daily Duolingo at the end of every stream. That's kind of a fun way to end the stream. Our daily, very interesting stories on Duolingo. God damn. Anyways, I hope you guys... Um, I think she was asking the, out the airport worker in a very roundabout way. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe she's trying to be sly, trying to be sneaky about it. Hmm. Anyways, um, I think this stream was long enough for my sanity. I'm so wiggly today and so like, I don't know. I just am having a hard time focusing today. So hopefully tomorrow's better. Um, tomorrow we're going to play in the morning. Hopefully I actually get on in the morning. I think I will. I'll make myself. Um, we're going to play Hogwarts Legacy tomorrow is the hopes and dreams. Um, yeah, that's the plan. I really want to get further in that game and stop um, ignoring that it exists. Um, I've been kind of not playing it and I, I should truly play it. Um, yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Dreamlight Valley gameplay. We're definitely going to play more soon. We got to finish Mirabelle and then we still got to unlock Eric and play through Eric um, yeah, technically it's tomorrow for me now. I'll see you then at the end of tomorrow. I don't, wait. That might even be the next day for you. I'll see you in a couple days. I don't know. I don't, time zone, zone still, like, confuse me, even as a 24-year-old. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow or the next day for some of you. <laughs> okay, bye.